In life, we all face all kinds of challenges in our relationship, such as financial insecurity, it could be infidelity, it could be emotional, mental, and psychological abuses, from to rejection, and then negligence is not left out of this. And this list is inexhaustible. I am Princess Pat Akpabio, and this is Changing Minds, Changing Attitudes. Changing Minds Changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a peace and one Show some love Hold each other's hands In confidence we'll make the world a better place Here on Changing Minds, Changing Attitudes We will be discussing through life issues and of course sharing experiences of real people and after that we will share our views with you now the topic for today is quite interesting and uh, something that I really want to hear do women cheat and if they do cheat why do women cheat now for decades and for years in the African context and African culture, it has been seen as a taboo for a woman to cheat, especially a woman who is in a monogamous committed relationship. And when this happened, where a woman is caught in, 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 in an act of infidelity, it is frowned upon, she's being stigmatized by the church, the society, and of course friends and family members don't find that to be very funny. Another thing to take note of is that men actually seem to be in denial in the African culture that there is a possibility that a woman will cheat on them while in a relationship with them or have cheated on them as the relationship progresses. Now when this relationship and infidelity comes to play you find out that this relationship is good as over it heads south because of the culture which we live in. Now today we have a wonderful guest on the show and she has been married for 51 years, a professional educationalist and of course she is a bachelor's degree holder from the University of Utah on early childhood and human psychology. Let's make welcome my guest for the show today, Mrs. Ime Frank. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching. This is part of your show. Thank you. Ma'am, you're welcome to show. It's good Thank to have you, you on Thank the show, you. my Thank friend. You. How are you doing? I'm good. It's good I'm to good. have you. Now, Mrs. Frank, what, what do you think about this topic? Do women cheat? And if they do cheat, why do they cheat? Oh, of course, women do cheat. But it's common on men. Men cheat more than women. But because of the society that we find ourselves, the, when men do cheat, they don't look at it as a sin. It is when a woman does that the society looks at it as very, very sinful. Wow, 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 wow. So now, in a case where a woman cheats, what, what do you think that a man, how, how should a man react to the infidelity of a woman in a relationship? Oh, well, usually the man is expected to react violently. Okay. Um, maybe even divorce her or use that as a point of discussion in meetings okay. when you meet with other men. Okay. And um, in, a, in a society like ours, most of the men he will even tell it to okay. will look at this as the greatest sin on okay. the woman. Okay. Because from the beginning of times in this culture, okay. at least, um, men. When they cheat, nobody looks at it as a sin. As a sin. Okay. But when women do, they will look at it as a sin. Okay. Now, Mrs. Fang, do you think that by chance, anywhere, somehow, that a man who just got cheated on could react differently outside what is expected of him from society? Oh yes. Oh yes, he could. That will depend on him. Okay. But sometimes there is a lot of pressure okay. on him. Okay. From the family. Okay. From the male folk. Okay. To react. Okay. Violently towards the woman, towards the woman, towards the and woman. in fact, to send her away. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, my friend, what 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 what, do you, what would you think is is a reason, any particular reason that can stand out in your mind why women cheat? Oh, many reasons. Okay. One being that 
She's not sexually satisfied. Uh, okay. That can push her to cheat. All right. And another one is revenge. If she perceives the man is cheating on her, mm. she can go on the spree. Okay. Just to take a revenge. <laughs> because if she tells the man, no, you're not doing it right, the man may not even listen to her. Okay. So she will take a step further. Wow. To revenge. Okay. Uh -huh. So now revenge is one of the reasons why women cheat. Yes. She's not sexually satisfied. Yes. That's why a woman would cheat and men, she just want to go on a spree. Because mm -hmm. sometimes men wouldn't want to listen. The man wouldn't want to listen to the woman and what she's doing. Now, my friend, when this happened, do you think that there is a possibility that this relationship can be salvaged? Of course it can. It can be salvaged. Okay. But it will be between the man and, and the, the woman, woman and the understanding okay. of both of them okay. on how to re to bring it back to life okay to take it back to where they started before okay uh -huh. but if one of them refuses to listen to reasoning okay and decides to take the extra mile of leaving or making more noise mm -hmm. then the marriage can break. The relationship the is usually, completely yeah, but it's usually over. Usually, it can be salvaged. Okay, it can. We'll be right back after this commercial. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching the Princess Patapato Show. Welcome back. Well, we've been having an exciting time here in the studio um, talking to Mrs. Ime Frank on do women cheat and if they do cheat and why? And she has shed some lie that yes, actually women do cheat and the reason why a woman would cheat is the fact that she is not happy in the relationship or that she is not contented sexually in the relationship or that she has been cheated on and so it's a revenge. And so she goes on a revenge spree because then if a woman tries to express herself that okay I'm not being sexually satisfied you're not doing it right the man might really not pay attention to her now mrs. Frank yeah. what position do you think the church should take in this part where a woman is cheating and it's not the husband because you know when it has to do with church, usually if the woman cheats, oh God, it's like she becomes a, a sermon topic, or, right? She becomes, okay, she's being stigmatized. Now, in order for us to put out a view where we say you should give it another chance, because, you know, of course, what it is with the church, God is a God of second chances. Do you think that the church should be more of um, trying to make the marriage work out or on a, on a condemning um, attitude? Yeah. The church really should try to make it work. Okay. Because when we come down to the Bible and the church, um, there is no sin that is higher than the other one. Okay. But although we try to make it look like as it. if it is, yes, but the church should just also try to find out why the cheating in the it's, first place. Okay. Then when they find that out, there's a lot of ways to go about it. They can talk to the woman and find out why she did. And then she has said, well, tell them how she can come okay. out of it. Make it happen. Yeah. All right. Now, let me ask you this other question. Do you really think that a woman should be punished for cheating? Um, punishment was like in the Old Testament. Okay. And in that Old Testament, it was the man and the woman should be killed. Okay. And with the New Testament, yes. I don't think there should be that much punishment for the woman. For the woman. So she should, should be forgiven. Yeah. And given another chance another to make chance. the marriage work. Yes. Or make the relationship work. work. The relationship shouldn't just go down south. I know. Because indeed we 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 are coming to understand that this does happen on a woman's part, just it like does. it happens on the man's, man's part. part. Okay. Now when it comes to the way society views women cheating, be it in a marriage relationship or just a monogamous relationship generally, mm -hmm. what do you think society should take? What, what view do you think society should be involved? Oh, society should, although they have been born okay. to see mm -hmm. and hear okay. that cheating is forbidden, Yes, especially for the woman. Yes, And you know in this culture they will say that if you do, 
the one will even die. Yes. Okay? And that is hard for the woman to confess. Yes. Or even talk to anybody about it. But it does It does happen. happen. It happens. <laughs> so um, the culture the, the, that we find ourselves in uh, should look at it from a very different perspective. perspective and look at the woman and see why. Or maybe place yourself in her own okay. position. Okay. Because in a marriage, most of them are not satisfied. And being a woman in this culture, you cannot open up and tell your husband, look, I'm not satisfied with what you're doing. Okay. And that alone will be even be looked down by the society. Okay. Woman telling me she's not, not satisfied, satisfied sexually. Right. With all what I supply and so that's that's the point. Okay. The society should look at it from a different viewpoint. Okay. That she's human. All right. She can feel cheated. Yes. She can feel not loved. Okay. She has feelings. Yes. So she's taking these things out because maybe the way she feels. Okay. Maybe the way she finds herself. Yes. Because most women do this cheating when they don't have money. Mm, wow. In this culture. So money is kind of like a big oh, factor yes, why yes. a woman Because maybe cheat. the other man picks up her bills. bills and take care of the things that she needs, she needs. for herself. Yes. All right. Now let me ask you this question and um, I think we'll be wrapping it up from here. Mm -hmm. Do you think that a woman who cheats on the husband, on the boyfriend or in a relationship ever finds happiness and satisfaction doing so? It depends how she sees it. Okay. Because in a situation when you don't have something that you want, and then you step up and can grab it, mm. I think she does. Okay. Although the shame is there and every other thing is there. And in fact, if it's a revenge, she will just put up her head and say, I've done it too. What is it? Yes. Like, okay. I yes. can do it. <laughs> if he does, I can. <laughs> Okay, so, and you know sometimes they get away with it, or sometimes they really don't. Because mm. typically, mm. since the society do not want women to express that, mm. they don't want to talk about, about it. it. So it's kind of like swept mm. under the carpet. Yeah. Good. Now, what would be your final final words, your parting words on this particular topic? That actually, yes, women do cheat, do. and these are the reasons why they cheat. Now, on a positive light, what would you say to the society, to the viewers, to people who are watching the church? Um, and, you know the church mm -hmm. they should be forgiven okay to the people watching the 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 man here yeah, because we are talking about a woman cheating yes. the man in this relationship mm -hmm. should go back and ask and talk to the woman and find out why she did what she did mm. and then she he can pick up from there okay and take care of her needs mm. sexually and otherwise okay and then <laughs> watch out that is like if, she will, <laughs> I, if she will change thank you thank you mrs yes. frank for actually honoring our invitation on thank the you. show to come here now to all of those that are watching our viewers of course you've had it from a woman who has been married for 51 years early childhood and of course a human psychologist um bachelor's degree holder from the university of utah now, how you choose to live your life is totally your business and your choice. Now, you need to understand that you do not owe anybody any explanation on how you live your life but God. Now, until we come again your way on another show, this is Changing Minds, Changing Attitude, and I have been your host, Princess Pat Akpabio. See you again next time. Things are never what they seem to be Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a peace and one Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a peace and one Show some love, hold each other's hands In confidence we'll make the world a better place We are changing minds and changing attitudes You're watching The Princess Butterfly Show